The floor literally appears as you take the next step. You have no clue where you're going. The illusion is that you think you know where you're going. And the problem is that oftentimes you're right with a lot of the elements in your life. And that life has become predictable and boring. And therefore all your creative energy goes towards what's not possible and creating problems where there don't need to be problems if you spend more space and time in just not knowing and just living from the now in the freshness of the adventure of the calling and placing a step and placing a step and placing a step and placing a step and allowing the steps to show you what's most exciting. And as long as you don't have any fear to act when it does feel right to act, when the timing does show up, then that's a completely safe way to do it. And in fact, I recommend it. And then you learn over time, you learn to completely trust that to the point where you know that if you try hard to make it work, when it's not in flow, when it's not just the timing isn't showing up, you're actually creating problems and detours where if you just waited one more day or two more weeks or whatever, it just showed up on its own. It was the perfect timing and you didn't need all the time and resources you thought you needed to create it, right? Whereas if you then start creating it prematurely, you do need all that time and resources to create it. The universe is very efficient in its organizing principle, but only if you're connected to your calling will you be sensitive enough to notice what's truly in flow and what's not in flow versus what you're resisting or not resisting. Sometimes it's a little difficult from the outside in to tell if someone's just resisting or postponing or if they're waiting for the proper moment and it's not there yet. But when you become sensitive enough and practice enough, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And then you're just like, yep. You just know that the best thing is going to happen so swiftly when you don't try to force it before its moment arises. And then the moment arises. When it doesn't, it's like, oh, there it is. But then there's no resistance either. There's no like stories or like, wait a second, I'm having an emotion. Blah, blah, blah. And that's saying it never happens, right? But there's just this complete availability to like, oh, there it is, naturally on its own. Boop. And it happens in a fraction of the time if you were to then if you were to actually try and do it and plan it. And if you could live like this with everything, it means you compress the amount of time and energy you lose working and doing so many things that are otherwise done in a hundredth of the amount of energy and time and space it would need. So now that means you can do a hundred more things within the same period of time or 99 more things with the same amount of energy you can create a hundred times as much, so to speak because you're trusting in the timing of things. But this requires that you're free of resistance. And this requires that you have a positive relationship and it's possible relationship with uncertainty, which means that you need to have a positive conscious relationship to your calling or to who you are, what you are, come from that state of being and be confident in it.